name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, today we lovingly recall your journey to Calvary, which fulfilled your promised redemption of our sins. We remember your joyful attitude in carrying your cross. You endured physical and moral sufferings because of your unconditional love for us. Your sacrificial and merciful love is a manifestation of your holy heart. Lord Jesus, as you begin to make the way of the cross, we ask you to go before us and lead us to follow your footsteps faithfully. Fill us with sorrow and confusion for our sins. And if it's just in Christ, today's day of the cross, we are going to reflect upon with the background of the Eucharist, the respect and the love for the Eucharistic Lord. With that theme, we are going to do this day of the cross. So let us see God and see the times that we fail to understand the Eucharistic presence in every Mass and every moment that we visit the Blessed Sacrament. We very often fail to understand the deeper meaning of the Eucharistic celebration in the Eucharistic presence. Rather than we go to saints and pray rosary, this and that, etc extra activities during the celebration of the Holy Mass. This is very, very bad and it is not good that we are being uncatechized. We are lacking in our catechism that we fail to understand that the Eucharist is the main and center of our Christian Catholic life. So with this background, let us enter into this day of the cross. Seeking power. 
and he who made himself the least of all. He is condemned to die on the cross like the lowest of slaves. Jesus lovingly accepts this sentence of death. He came down to this earth in order to suffer and die and to teach us to do the same. In his holy Eucharist, Jesus is again condemned to death, primarily in his graces, which are rejected, in his love, which is slighted, in his sacramental state, by the unbeliever who denies him, by horrible sacrilege. By unworthy communions, the bad Christian sells Jesus Christ to the devil, delivers him up to his own positions, casting him at the feet of Satan, king of his heart, and crucifies him in his sinful body. Jesus is more clearly treated by bad Christians than by the Jews. In Jerusalem, he was condemned only once. But in the present sacrament, he is condemned every day and in thousands of places and by an appealing number of unjust judges. And yet, Jesus allows himself to be insulted, despised, condemned. He still continues his sacramental life in order to show that his love for us is without condition or reserve, that he is greater than our ingratitude. O Jesus, find you, I beseech thee, all my sacrifices. Should I ever have committed any, I want to pass my life making reparation for them and loving and honoring thee for them that despise thee. Grant me the grace to die with thee. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful depart through the mercy of God rest in peace. Love, with his kisses, in order to make them attractive to me, 
but he wants me to carry them for him, to offer them to him. He is even willing to listen to the outpourings of my grief, to let me weep over my crosses and ask help and consolation of him. Oh, how great is the cross that comes my, by way of the Holy Eucharist. How beautiful and radiant it comes forth from the heart of Jesus. How good it is to receive it from his hands and to kiss it after him. To the Eucharist, then, I will run for refuge in my troubles. Thither will I go for comfort and strength. Thither will I go to learn to suffer and to love. Forgive, Lord, all who treat thee irreverently in thy sacrament of love. Forgive my moments of indifference, of forgetfulness in thy presence. I wish to love thee. I do love thee with all my heart.
and follow him closely with our hearts. Jesus succumbs a second time to his weakness 
It is a cause of new sufferings for him. His hands and knees are wounded by his faults on his laborious way, and the ill treatment inflicted by his executioners increases with their rage. Oh, how ineffectual of human aid without the help of Jesus Christ! And how many faults are in store for him the rain is on others. How often the God of the Eucharist falls nowadays by communion in lukewarm and covertly hearts that resists him without preparation, possesses him without reverence, and let him go without an act of love and gratitude. Thus Jesus stay with us in fruitless because of our coldness. Who would dare to receive one of the great of the earth with as little attention as the King of Heaven is every day received? Divine Saviour, I apologize to thee for all my comedians that have been lukewarm and without devotion. How many times thou hast already come to me? I thank thee for them, and I mean to be faithful to thee in the future. Only give me thy love, that is enough. Oh, 
of his glory and his divinity, of the beauty of his vanity, his enemies rob him of the honor of divine worship. Villages, churches, profane his sacred vessels and his tabernacles and cast him on the ground. He is the king and savior of men, is delivered up to their sacrileges it has on the day of his crucifixion. By allowing himself to be stripped to dust in the Holy Eucharist, Jesus wishes to lead us in a state of voluntary poverty, wherein we deny ourselves of every desire that we may be clothed with his life and his virtues. O oh, Jesus, Eucharist, be my only possession. May the souls of the faithful depart through the mercy of God rest in peace. Thank you. 
the tomb and he is given over to the custody of his enemies, he is still their prisoner. But it is in the Holy Eucharist that Jesus is really in torment and remains there not just for three days but for a whole time and we are the ones who ask to guard him. He is a prisoner of love. The corporal covers him like a shirt. The lamp burns before his altar as before the place of the dead. Around him reigns the silence of death. In coming into our heart in Holy Communion, Jesus chooses to be entombed again within us. Let us make ready for him a searcher that is worthy of him, one that is new and white, unoccupied by earthly affections. Let us anoint him with the perfume of our virtues. Let us come to him homage of those who do not come. Let us adore him in his tabernacle, console him in his prison. Let us bring of him the grace of equation and of death the world that we may lead a hidden life in the Holy Eucharist. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, 
the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and all of you remain with you forever. Amen.